Why might you be bullied? It may be your height, or lack of it, your colour, your size, where you're from, how you talk, who your family is, who your friends are, what you believe in. It could be anything that is perceived as different, but no matter what, it's not your fault. Bullying happens to kids all around the world every day. Though it can be physical, pushing and shoving, stealing or breaking things, it could also be verbal, teasing and name calling, or even social, excluding people, starting rumours, using the internet or texting. Being bullied is not funny. It's serious. Some effects are obvious from the outside, but there's a lot happening on the inside that we don't get to see, like fear, stress, and sadness. Fear can make you afraid to go places. Sadness can make you stop acting like your true self. Maybe you don't want to do the things you enjoy doing anymore. Stress can affect your body. Your stomach might feel like it's in knots and maybe you can't sleep. You can do something about it. No, don't fight back. The Bible gives us great advice. Romans 12.17 tells us, return evil for evil to no one. Here's what you could do. Be prepared. Think beforehand about what you want to say. Act confident. You could use humour to defuse the situation. <laughs> Think of ways you can protect yourself. Proverbs 22.3 says a shrewd person sees the calamity coming and conceals himself. Avoid places where bullying might happen and be willing to walk away if it does. Don't walk to school alone. Take a friend with you. <laughs> Label your belongings. Don't take money or expensive things with you to school. Tell an adult. Shine a spotlight on their actions. You could talk to your parents, school officials, or a trusted adult, even though you might feel like a telltale. You shouldn't face it alone. It's not easy, but it can work. You can beat a bully without using your fists.